New at 10, neighbors in Pewaukee helped rescue a sandhill crane that had plastic wrapped around its beak. A local wildlife center had been trying to help that bird for several days. Ricky Mitchell has the story from Oconomowoc. Here at the Wildlife in Need Center, they will often rescue animals from the wild and bring them back here for rehabilitation. Just about a week ago, they started getting calls that a sandhill crane needed their help. They're here pretty much every day. Alexis Riches says two sandhill cranes often visit her yard in Pewaukee. The female stands about this tall, and then the male is probably a good six inches taller than her. But then she learned through a post on Facebook that the Wildlife and Need Center was looking for these cranes because one couldn't open its beak. I saw her and I'm like, oh my goodness, that's her. Alexis used bird feed to get the crane into her screened in garage. And she kind of freaked out a little bit and was like, what are you doing? And I grabbed it and slowly pulled it to the edge and then I just dropped it. It ended up being just like the soft ending of an earbud that was trapped around her beak. Mandy Favel from the Wildlife and Need Center drove to Alexis's home and managed to get the plastic off the bird's beak. Was it in distress? Was it weak? What did you notice? She was definitely stressed. I knew she'd be very thin and she was. So she was definitely dehydrated. She was very underweight. The bird's mate was waiting nearby and Mandy says they watched as she rejoined her partner. She started opening her beak right away and kind of trying to vocalize with her mate. Um, so that was a real relief and really cool to see. So all in all, happy ending, right? Happy ending, definitely. And the take home lesson here, the Wildlife and Needs Center says, please keep in mind things like plastic rings, anything that a wild animal could become trapped in, and maybe cut those up before you dispose of them. Reporting at the Wildlife and Needs Center, Ricky Mitchell, today's TMJ4. There's always someone out there that can help, Ricky, yes. thanks.